Hey everybody, this is Kayla with Becky's Graphic Design in Nashville, Tennessee. Today I'm going to give you a couple of options about separating a PSD or a Photoshop file into separate pieces when you have multiple images all together on one canvas or artboard like you see that I have here. These are illustrations that will be used in one of our book projects. The illustrator has been nice enough to come in here and add all of the files, digitize them for us. And look, she even came in here and uh, named the layers for us. So that makes things easy. As you can see, uh, she has gone in and labeled all the flowers so I know which ones they are. And I don't have to go do a bunch of guesswork. Now, what I'm trying to accomplish here is to move these flowers onto their own artboards so that it is easy to import them into the book. Um, and so I don't have to awkwardly move my image frame around throughout the document the whole time. I'm gonna start off with this method, the artboard method. Artboards are new to Photoshop. We've had them for maybe two years now. Um, and something that I haven't really utilized until recently. So let me show you what that is. We have our canvas, right? So if we go to image canvas size, we can see what the current canvas is. We don't currently have an artboard on our document, but if you go up to this tool and select the artboard tool, we are going to draw an artboard behind this whole canvas. I'm going to go ahead and unlock my background layer, which y'all can't see here. Right here down in the corner, we're going to unlock our background layer. And then I'm going to draw my artboard just like this. All of that artwork is now contained on artboard one. I'm going to start to manually separate this stuff out. I'm going to draw a new artboard out on the side, and then let's just take our Lily of the Valley here, and we're gonna move that onto artboard number two. And then I would continue to do this until I had every single flower cut apart onto its own artboard. The other thing I would do is name my artboards. You can double click on them and rename them. So I would rename this one Lily of the Valley. The reason for doing this is because when we export this document, you can have your documents exported as separate Photoshop files with the name of the artboard in the document name so that it would be easy for me to identify which file was for which flower. I'm not gonna continue this process for this particular document because of the way it's been set up. I have a nice easy way to do this. Because our artist has gone in and named all of these layers, I can export my document by layer rather than artboard. So let's undo what we've done. We're gonna put this back to the default way it was. Very good. Now, let me show you. We're gonna go up to File, Export, Layers to Files. I'm going to add a new folder for these files to go into. We're gonna call these separated flowers. I go there. All right, now I want to export these as TIFFs. Keep in mind, if you need these uh, flowers to be in a certain format, do this now so you don't have to change all of the files later. For example, I need these flowers to be in a CMYK color mode and I need them at 300 pixels per inch, which I have already gone ahead and done with this document. Um, so we can see that we have our prefix. This is really, really long. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and make this prefix something shorter so it's easier to see in my file explorer. And I'm going to add an underscore, so now all of my files will come out as 2023, underscore flower, underscore, and then the name of the flower. We've got our TIFF selected. That's the file format that we want. We want no image compression, and now we're going to go ahead and run this automation. You 
You can see here that Photoshop is opening up each individual file, and the canvas size is still the same as it was at the beginning. It has just taken that flower and moved it, uh, or left it, I should say, in the spot where it was. Um, and simply left the canvas size the same. I'm going to show you a quick automation you can run to trim these flowers down to just the size of the flower and not to have this huge canvas down as well. Hmm, okay, so this is an issue here. We can see that uh, with the file settings that were selected, it has saved, merged my flower into the background. I need these to be transparent. So we're gonna have to try a slightly different method and see if we can get this to work. Okay, so here's a fix for that. I was having trouble because I was exporting to a TIFF format. TIFF doesn't always by default preserve the transparency. So instead I have exported my layers to PSDs simply by going up to File, Export, Layers to Files. And I changed my PSD as the default file type. I made sure I selected visible layers only and I deleted that white background um, image before I began. Okay, so now that we have this under control, now let's find a way to automatically go in and run a batch on all of these to trim out the extra white or transparent background that I do not need. So first, let's create an action. We're going to go up to Window, Actions, and we are now going to record what we are doing. We're going to do this by creating a new action by clicking this little arrow plus right here. We're going to call this Trim Blank Pixels. We're going to record. We're going to go up to Image. We're going to say Trim. And we're going to base this trim on transparent pixels from all sides. I'm going to click OK. Perfect. Now, I want this action to run through all of my files. So I also need to save by hitting Control S and then closing the document by hitting Control W. There. Now, I'm going to stop recording this action. You can see that our action is now seated. Down here, it's called Trim Blank Pixels, and it has all of the various um, actions that we did during that recording. Save them. Now what we're going to do is close this, and we're going to tell Photoshop to go to File, Automate, Batch. We are going to run the action called Trim Blank Pixels from our folder of separated flowers. Um, this is all we need to do here. All we want this action to do is save and close. Um, if you need these flowers to be in a new folder uh, separate from somewhere else, you can add that. You can add a new folder and it will make new files in that folder. I just want to save over top of the files I already have, so we're going to do save and close. Now I'm going to click OK. Now Photoshop is going to run through, trim all the blank pixels off of each of these flower sets. And by the time I'm done with this batch, my flowers are ready to go right into my book project. And this is without having to manually cut and paste these flowers apart into 30-something PSD files. Very good, let's have a look. Just click on this one here. Very nice, that's what I wanted. Okay guys, I hope this was useful. If you have any comments or questions or maybe even better methods, leave them in the comment section below. Look at the graph guys. Look at how many of you are not subscribed. If you've been watching for a while, go ahead and subscribe. It's free, doesn't cost you anything, 
and it helps us get our uh, analytics up better so we can make a little bit of revenue so we can keep making these free videos for you. All right, everybody, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.